How's it going everyone? This is Casual Chris with a quick tip today um, about adding audio effects. You guys, if you guys are liking my Beatmaker 3 tutorials, uh, just hit subscribe. I'm coming with new ones every Friday morning at 4.15 uh, Pacific time in the morning for all my early birds out there who are making morning beats. But every Friday, expect some kind of tutorial on Beatmaker 3. Uh, so anyways, back to this. I want to show you audio effects. Let's go over some audio effects real quick, uh, how to use them because um, they can get a little tricky um, with them. I have been using this more. My computer hard drive took a dump on me, so I've been producing with my iPad alone, like just purely on my iPad, using audio effects more than ever um, to craft the sound, you know? So that's what I'm doing. But anyways, going over this, Audio effects, you would hit that button right there. The audio effects pops up. This is add audio effect. Now in this tutorial, I'm basically showing you what the difference between these two are. So basically, there were developers who were allowing you to connect to two different applications at the same time. And they were doing really well. Well, Apple didn't like that. So Apple did develop their own, and that's what Audio Units V3 is. So essentially, these are the same thing. They do the same thing. When I first started out producing on Beatmaker 3, I only chose this one because I know it from my Mac. Now, um, this will change. Uh, they should be adding um, some plugins that can use both for your Mac, for your laptops, and then for your iPad. So look for that to change. But for now, this is what you're looking at here when you're looking for plugins. So, Inner App Audio, what I found from it is it is less stable. Um, it's a little bit less stable for me, but certain applications are only available using that. Um, I found that my Beatmaker crashed a lot more when I was using this. And as painful as that is, Beatmaker's auto save feature is not as good as say logic um, you can lose your settings you can lose i've lost settings i've lost midi notes i've i've lost you know entire things but luckily i recorded so you know i was able to figure out what i played but i've lost entire projects with this with this app so um watch out with iaa um applications but like i said only some plugins work for that so you're kind of stuck with that um so there's that so again difference they're the same thing my experience this crashes a bit more unfortunately some programs only work for that so you're stuck using that all right next up i actually guys want to show you a review on this awesome plugin i just bought um under audio units fly type so in order to get to that once again you will be in your main screen when you pull it up you just hit here here just to make sure you know exactly where what audio effect you're doing another mistake that you can commonly make is adding the audio effect to the entire channel as opposed to adding the audio effect to a sound so this right now is not to this sound the audio effect will affect the entire bank as it says right up there so pay attention to this right up there it is important that you that you make sure that you're not adding the audio effect to the channel for example if you're trying to EQ the snare here and you go ahead and do your audio effects and you EQ that snare and it's happened many times and now it sounds good well the problem is it's EQs the whole channel so you just EQ'd your kick too 
common mistake um one way to fix that is to click there that will do it you can hold it as well i believe oh you can hit the name and then select the track to make sure that you know exactly what it is um what i've been doing what i've been like kind of just by habit just to speed things up is i've just been let's make sure we delete and that's how you delete audio effects so right there delete it um i've been going over here so i've been double clicking so i double click the furthest one to the left the furthest channel to the left i double click it that's just you know how i get back to the main screen that's how i get back to this and then i know say i want to put an audio effect on my aux unit like i already did it automatically populates it so that's that's the way i've been you know making sure i stay on point with this um in your comments just go ahead and drop how you personally um make up for this but this is how i do it to uh, make sure that i'm adding audio effects to the right thing because that's a common mistake that you that you can make there so thanks once again if you like the video make sure you hit subscribe to the channel and i'll see you guys next friday